Located along the winding scenic countryside roads, rural rolling hills, and vast farmlands of Northern Virginia sits an abandoned general store that is an absolutely incredible location. I just got into this, um, just got into this abandoned general store and I'm sweating my nuts off, dude. It's so hot and humid and of course there's a giant hornet's nest over there in the corner. And they're not very happy with me and I'm allergic, so... I gotta be super careful and I'm all by myself. So if I get stung, I gotta take myself to the hospital. But I'm still doing this place. Made it all the way through the cornfields and the woods. I'm not giving up now. Check it out. Neighbors are right there, super close. Thank God we had this abandoned house to hide behind. I gotta be careful because the neighbors are literally right out there. But they should look at this. 1977. Selective service system. These are all like mailboxes for the post office. So they would have had their P.O. box in the general store at the time, back in the day. And these old printer drawers. Gotta love all those like old bottles of uh, castor oil. Looks like ammonia. Some Noxima. Look at the Happy Jacks back there too. Pretty damn cool. This Virginia General Store is literally a complete time capsule where you can take a step back into time almost as if you had just time traveled back to the 1970s. It was one of those rare locations that gives you a real life glimpse into the past from when life was much simpler and certainly much more inexpensive. The General Store also took us back to a period in time when the small family owned mom and pop stores were how most people got their food toiletries, tobacco, supplies, and other odds and ends long before the corporate chains ruled the world. Surprisingly, many of the items in the general store were still stacked on the shelves, sitting in boxes, and lined up along the countertops. So as you'll see, it was almost as if the general store was closed up, locked up, and completely forgotten about for all these years. Like the shelves are loaded. You can hear the hornets over there in the corner, right where that light's coming in. I'm gonna avoid that. Floor's collapsing back here. Look at all this stuff. It's like cold tablets. Wax. So much stuff in here. Yeast tablets, yum. Look at that dandruff remover shampoo. Halo, sulfur. These like sh little shoe boxes. Fix Old Spice aftershave. Wow. Look at all that. Baby oil down there. Johnson's. So much stuff. Here's the front of the post office boxes, or P.O. boxes. Here's what they look like. Super old. They're all numbered.
Trying to find any information about this general store was extremely difficult. Trying to look up the history proved to be nearly impossible. It's almost like this place never even existed. The only information that we do have is from the other explorers that had visited the store and from some of the random paperwork left behind. From what we can tell, it appears that the general store closed sometime in the late 1970s. So just think about that for one second. Everything in this store is from an era over 40 years ago. So that fact, coupled with all the outdated vintage items left behind, such as the packs of Lucky Strike cigarettes, Tom's orange candy slices, and the antique Coca-Cola bottles, made this time capsule location a very fun, interesting, and nostalgic explore. I feel extremely lucky to have been able to document such an amazing location. Sprite and Coke. Look at those old retro bottles. So cool. Everything is so old from like the 70s. Maybe a lot of it, maybe even older. Look at the candy. Orange slices, they're all like chewed through or melted. Wow. Spice drops. Tom's, look at that, that is super cool. And Tom's is actually still around. Velvet. Blow pops. There's even one left in there. Look at the old Mary Jane candies. Cigarettes, look at all those cigarettes and they're still in there too. There's a bunch of cigarettes over here. Brands that I've never even heard of. And are, I'm sure, no longer around. Some cools. Kent. L&M. Lucky Strikes. I get the price on the Butterfinger. 25 cents. Cheap. Phillips tablet, buffering. Snuff, look at the snuff cans. Some more tobacco products down there, some pipe tobacco. Cigar box. Filters. I just opened up that cigar box and boom, tons of cigars. More candy. Look at that Clark's gum. I used to love Clark's gum. The old stand back ad. Look at all the gum's been chewed up by mice, rodents, juicy fruit, Gillette. Toothache drops. Super cool. Pens. Flashlight batteries. Look at that. Ever readies. Dr. Scholl's and stand back. Look at that. That old Dr. Scholl stuff. You love it. More stuff. Just tons and tons of boxes of stuff. Like fuses and lights, nails, look at all these screws and nails. Look at all the Pillsbury stuff and bread mix, corn muffin mix, look at that. Puzzles. Just 
place is just packed with stuff. Peanut butter. Peter Pan at that. Some mayo. And then down here is the good old prune juice. It's not a big place, it's pretty small. But it's loaded with bees, hornets, and old school product. Cool old general store, gotta love it when these time capsules are found. Look at all that up there still hanging. Chapped lips. Handkerchiefs. <laughs> See, look at all those bottles of Pepsi. Wow. And even back here is loaded. Hershey's tea. Look at all the old Lipton tea. And the other style tea. Old grits. Look at that old bushes. So much stuff. Ovaltine. Instant laundry starch. Here's some soap. Look at that Ajax just coming out of the box. Or jar, whatever you want to call it. Nice old Pepsi bottles. Probably worth some money too. And there's a ton of them. Different kinds, there's the green kind, different kinds of logos from the years, super cool. And all that Hershey's cocoa. Not too much back here behind the counter, but there is this old scale thing here. Looks like there was a cooler right here. And they would weigh the meats or whatever it was on this scale here. Defiance. Still got the paper in it too, look at that. Jars over there. Place is so cool. It got so dark so quick. But at least you can see the exterior. There's the Bando house next door right there. But this is such a cool one. It's so rural out here. Look at this old gas pump. Lead free Texaco. Bennett. Look at it, it's still got the uh, nozzle and the hose. Although cut. <clears throat> Super cool though. All this overgrowth. Bugs are thick out here too. Doesn't say how much a gallon was back then. This thing's about to collapse though, look. And you come over here and see. It's like a drill here. You can see the hornet still flying around. And you can see inside the windows there. Look at Super cool spot. And this is the front door here. You can see all that in there, the cans and stuff. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, and that's going to wrap it up for the Abandoned General Store video. We sure hope that you all enjoyed it and took a step back into time when watching the video. For more photographs of the General Store, as well as our other abandoned locations, check out AbandonedCentral.com. And make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our other videos. Thank you all again for all the support.